With 84 new cases as of Friday, Governor Scott has made some tough decisions going into the upcoming holiday season. Any form of multi-family gathering inside and out will be prohibited as cases have stemmed from such small gatherings such as baby showers, ha Halloween parties, and deer camps. Scott also announced bars and social clubs will be forced to close starting Saturday as spicing cases has halted any former gatherings. Restaurants can continue in-person dining, but restaurants will be required to close in-person service by 10 p.m. Starting on Saturday, but will be allowed to be open for takeout past 10 p.m. with the rise in cases this uh, coming as no surprise as Vermont has had a drastic spike in cases over the past week with record case numbers in one day of 109 set last Wednesday. And though we've been warning against these activities for weeks, they're still happening. Given our recent case growth, we have no choice but to restrict social gatherings, whether at a home, a bar, or in a parking lot after a game. Federal CARES Act funding sent by Congress to the states must be spent by the end of the year. Vermont received $1.5 billion, and some of it remains unallocated. Vermont's Legislative Joint Fiscal Committee agreed on Saturday to use $75 million of CARES money to make grants to help the state's hospitality industries make it through the winter. They did not approve $700,000 for Vermont meat processors to buy equipment they need to expand. Vermont Congressman Peter Welch is asking House leadership to expand the CARES Act funding from December 30th of, of 2020 to December 31st of 2021. Governor Phil Scott agrees the use to use it or lose it deadline is not good. Today, we just simply don't have enough uh, to, to help and we're under the same restrictions, the guidelines we had from before. Um, everything has to be expended by December 31st, so the, the clock is ticking. The loss of this federal money would force this Vermont State College system to pay up to $500,000 in COVID testing out of its own pocket and halt the expansion of broadband to over 1,000 homes across Vermont. 